Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Premier League Predictions. This is being recorded on a Tuesday, it will come up on a Wednesday, so to you it'll be a Wednesday. Why it's been recorded on Tuesday, you'll see why in due course. But anyway guys, a lot to talk about, a lot to get through, so guys, you know what to do. Give us a like, big thumbs up if you enjoy it, subscribe for more, thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game we're going to talk about is Arsenal versus Aston Villa. Arsenal literally played last night, obviously you can't even be watching this, I will have to say Monday night. Draw with 2 2 against Crystal Palace, and I thought, you know, Arsenal were very lucky to get a point out of that game, if I'm being brutally honest. I do think mm, it could be a bit of a tough one for Arsenal to get back going again, but they have got, I wouldn't say an easy chance, but an equal chance of getting back under a win winning form. In this game against Aston Villa, Aston Villa losing three to Wolverhampton in the big um, Midlands derby over the weekend, and it really was very much of a case of Villa were two goals ahead, and they do and they did lose it three two. Going forward to this game, I'm going to call it a draw. I think I think this one's going to be another draw. I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Chelsea versus Norwich. Chelsea, you know, they beat Brentford. Um, they still got a Champions League game to play. Obviously going up against a very okay Norwich side. Uh, I've seen the highlights between Brighton and Norwich. And Norwich were very unlucky not to score. If a player hit hard enough, Duffy probably wouldn't have got to it. And it would have probably finished now now. But going to Chelsea, Stamford Bridge, a place I have been to myself, and it really is, you know, a tough place to go um, for a bottom league side. They do make it tough for you. So for that reason, I'm going to go for a Chelsea win, and I'm going to go for a comfortable 4-0 Chelsea win. My next one is Crystal Palace versus Newcastle. Uh, Crystal Palace drawing to Arsenal, as I've already mentioned. I want to come over to the Newcastle side, though, because... There is a few things. One about a fan who had a suspected heart attack. I think he did have a heart attack. Uh, I think it's came out. I'm not too sure, but a suspected heart attack. I hope he gets well soon. The last update I got was I did actually get I saw on Twitter. It was from his son, and he said he's he's awake. He's responding. The only thing is he doesn't have no memory of the game itself. So. All of us here, you know, hope you get well very soon and hopefully see your beloved Newcastle play again. Going forward to Newcastle's game, uh, did it quite go to plan, did it for Steve Bruce, the new owners and the Newcastle team. Pick up a two, uh, the first goal in t literally two minutes of play and then Tottenham started to dominate, you know, over... The game, the more the game went on, the more stronger they were getting. And it's fair play to Rude. And I can't remember the Tottenham player's name, and Eric Dyer for the quick response. Uh, the number three player for Spurs, I know what number he plays. Um, but yeah, fair, fair response to him for the, pointing out to the referee stop play as well when that incident did happen up at St James's Park the previous weekend. Going forward to the game, this game really does have to get Crystal Palace back on form. Newcastle are going to start trying to hit the ground running somehow. I'm going to go for a draw again, I think. And I'm just going to go for a normal, boring 0 0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Everton versus Watford. Watford getting beaten 5 0 at Fickridge Road the previous weekend against Liverpool. Liverpool and different form that day, but I want to speak more about Liverpool when we get down to their fixture. Can't quite remember if Everton got on this weekend, but you know, Everton surely going to win this one on the Rafa Benitez. It's nice to see that the fans start getting used to Rafa Benitez. I know a few of you might not still, you know, quite get along with the, you know, partnership at Everton, but it's nice to see, what, you know, the fans that are. Um, if you are or if you're not, please comment down below how you feel about him as well. It's going to be a really interesting game, but as I said, surely Everton will win this game against Watford. I'm going to go for a 3-1 Everton win for that one. My next one is Leagues versus 
Wolverhampton Wanderers. I can't remember how Leeds got on this weekend either. Uh, but obviously Wolves won 3-2. Great comeback by Wolves. Never give up. Uh, the attitude they looked like on Saturday. But it really was a very interesting game. Um, you know, Sirant from Wolves, you know, basically never say dice, but just remember that Leeds got on losing 1 0 to Southampton away from home as well. But going forward to this game, I'm going to go for a Leeds win, I think, and I'm going to go for uh, just actually, no, I'm not going to change it to a draw, and I'm going to go for a 2 2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Southampton versus Burnley. Southampton beaten leagues, as I just said, and basically pick up their first three points of the season. Uh, three points of the season, I don't think it's, it might be our first three points of the season, I can't quite remember, but I know it's their first win or something like that. Anyway, um, yeah, very good performance by Southampton. First three points on the lay belt. A very interesting game going up against Burnley side. And both these teams are down near the relegation, but, uh, relegation zone. Burnley are in the relegation zone. I believe after the Newcastle result, Burnley have got gone up to 18th. But, you know, it's still one of these things that's going to be a very interesting game at St Mary's this weekend. So I'm going to go for uh, another draw, actually. And I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Brighton versus Manchester City at the Amex Stadium. Brighton, now, I know a lot of you probably got to laugh, but, you know, probably in my prediction in the end, I still don't know what I'm going to call it. This is the best way about making my prediction. I don't literally make it till I see the fixture and I'm talking to you lot. But, Brighton did beat Manchester City 3 2 at the Amex last season. And, Basically, coming from two goals down, you know, with, with Brighton, I was actually there at that game. I'll try and make my vlog peer up at the end of this video if you want to go back and watch it. But it was a brilliant night at the MX Stadium, beating Man City 3-2. Brighton are currently sitting fourth in the Premier League. That's something else, you know, I really am happy to see at this present in time. I know it may not last, but at this present time, we are sitting fourth in the Premier League. And it's a joy to see my local club up there considering what the club went through in the past 20 odd years. Manchester City, will they come down the MS and struggle? Will they play? Because when Man City came down here last season, the league was done. They, well, they didn't play their second team, but you know Man City got two teams and they're both really strong. It's going to be really interesting to see what team Man City played down here this weekend. Uh, but going forward to the game... I'm going to go for a draw. I think both teams will get a point out of this one. And I'll go for an easy 3-3 scoreline for that one. My next one is Brentford versus Leicester. Brentford loses to Chelsea the previous weekend. Can't quite remember how Leicester got on. But anyway, really interesting game down at Brentford. You know Made a really tough place to go. Fair play for Brentford. They nearly got an equaliser against Chelsea as well. So fair play for them to actually do what they've done. It's going to be a really interesting game for both these clubs. Less than more probably interesting to see, you know, how long it takes take them to break Brentford down, if they break them down at all. Brentford, on the other hand, they have obviously proved this season that they can, uh, you know, equal the top boys. I'm going to go for a Brentford win now. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 Brentford win. My next one is West Ham versus Spurs. Now Tottenham, as I said, played Newcastle this week, uh, last weekend. Can't quite remember who West Ham played. Anyway, but anyway, yeah, as I was saying, Spurs did play Newcastle. And it's a uh, fair... I wish I could remember that player's name. I can't remember it. Regulate, is that it? I think that might be... Somewhere there, so if I'm mispronouncing it in any way. But yeah, it's fair play to him for getting the um, referee's attention, letting him know there's a medical attention going on in the ground, and he he was right to stop play and done whatever it was necessary. There's even one point that I was watching it from home um, because it was a Super Sunday game, I think. 
I was actually watching it from home and I was actually thinking to myself, we're clearing the pitch, possible helicopter landing, but helicopters weren't needed. And uh, yeah, fair play to uh, the Tottenham Platt and Eric Dyer as well for getting the defibrillators and the medical team straight over there as soon as possible. Quit thinking, it's obviously saves a man's life. I think it's a man or a woman, I'm not too sure, but you know, it's obviously saves a person's life and uh, fair play. And as I said, I hope it gets him or her gets better soon. Going forward to this game at the London Stadium, it's not the easiest place to go. I'm going to go for a West Ham win, and I'm going to go for a 2-1 West Ham win. Now, the game of the weekend. The game I'll be looking forward to, I'll be sitting on the sofa, or, you know, be watching the game somehow. Manchester United versus Liverpool. Manchester United... They drew this weekend. No, they didn't. They, no, they lost the previous weekend. Sorry to Leicester. Four two, and basically they drew to Everton before the international break. Man United are one a big downer at this present in time. What's going to happen at this game? As I said, I'm going to be watching it. It's going to be a really interesting game, but surely. Liverpool are going to go to Old Trafford, even though it's tough for Liverpool players to go, obviously, the theatre of dreams, and basically, I still think Liverpool will win this game uh, quite comfortably. Just before I give you my prediction for this for the final game, well played against uh, Watford, and Mill Salah took off three players before scoring against Watford as well, that's a great bit of skill to see by Mill Salah, uh, Mo Salah. Um, but yeah, anyway... <laughs> Going forward to this game, I'm going to go for a 3-2 Liverpool win. But anyway, guys, I'm going to bring this video to an end. Guys, you know what to do. Give us a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.